out for the first time on a Friday morning. We're glad to see you. Thanks to those who have been here a few times with us. This is meeting number four of the second restart of the pandemic for the Exchange Club. Congrats for being here. Um, I'm going to open this with a quick word of prayer, and then we'll say the pledge and get started. God, we thank you for your faithfulness to us, your faithfulness to our club, the community, our city, our state, and our country. We thank you for the call to service that you've placed on the hearts of the, the hearts of the members of this club, the call to service of those that we support as a club. We thank you especially for Zach Garza and Forerunner Mentoring, um, the impact that they've had in our community and will continue to have in his service um, in furtherance of that. Um, Wes, did you be with us this morning? Bless us, bless our time together. Uh, bless our time this weekend. Be with those who are not here. Keep everyone safe. Thank you for those that serve us, uh, police and fire and our first responders, our military, and those who serve in elected office and represent us. Pray that you would guide their decisions, that they would make wise choices and decisions and set policies that um, will further and benefit uh, our country, those around us who need a hand up um, and just set us on a, on a proper course. Again, we thank you for all that you do for us. We ask that all, all the things that we do would be pleasing and honoring to you. And we ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. All right, join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right, the announcements are literally just a calendar. Um, and you should get on the, the newsletter, the website calendar. Um, we've got a lot coming up, a lot crammed into the next few weeks. Um, we'll start with next Friday, May 7th. I would normally announce our meetings at the end of the meeting, our next meetings, but I'm just going to go down the list. Uh, May 7th is going to be our Youth of the Year ACE and Teacher of the Year Awards Breakfast. It will be here at the KC. Traditionally, we've done that at the high school, but not meeting at the high school these days. Um, so look forward to that. Patrick Allen, Raymond Fisher uh, will be presenting those awards. Um, so mark your calendars and be here on May 7th. May 8th is the Forerunner Mentoring um, Community Event at OHB. So be sure to check that out. It's from four to eight, food trucks, fun things for kids to do. Go check it out. Yes, yeah, good be, plug. Uh, gonna be some pizza and beer for free. Uh, and uh, it'll be great. Very nice. Open bar. <laughs> Nathan's excited back there. <laughs> All right, let's see, May, May 8th, May 15th, the following Friday, May 14th, the following Friday, 15th will be the Saturday, May 14th is going to be our scholarship breakfast, that will also be here, jury's still out on exactly what we're planning as far as club members attendance, uh, we'd like to make sure that we get all of our students, their parents, um administrators teachers um in the building for those awards so we may shift the members to a, a purely virtual um viewing of that event but we would like um as many of you to participate and attend as possible it's a great program it always has been it's always been my favorite um club meeting of the year um and this year will be no different other than the fact that it's here rather than at the church and we're probably not all going to be able to gather together but mark your calendars um and be in attendance if you can there is nothing on the 15th may 19th i believe the following wednesday is the red white game at the high school sign up genius is up we'll get it published in the newsletter um but we're gonna need some volunteers cook hot dogs serve hot dogs we're doing you know the standard hot dogs chips water um 
the, the event is going to be open to the community. You have to purchase your tickets in advance. They're limiting the, the number of people who can attend, but it's like 75% of the stadium. So anybody that wants to come can come. Um, <clears throat> so that's our plan. So mark your calendars, May 19th. Uh, for, for volunteers, I think we're starting around 5, and then we should be wrapped up around 8, 39 at the latest, um, packed up and loaded out of there. Um, so that's May 19th. The next night, May 20th, is going to be a Thursday night meeting here at the KC. Happy hour, hors d'oeuvres, um, and an auction preview meeting. The silent auction will be live at that point. Um, so we're going to tease the silent auction, kind of promote the bidding on those items while we're here. Um, and then Nathan and his crew are going to preview the live auction items for Saturday, May 22nd's auction. Nathan, you want to come on up and do your auction spiel since we're there in the calendar? Good morning, Lake Highlands. Good morning. So Chris stole my thunder a little bit here, but do mark your calendars. May 20th, Thursday night, open bar. I didn't steal that thunder. <laughs> yeah, open bar. There you go. We're, we're, where's Gail? Right here. We're keeping it alive, baby. But seriously, come that night because, as Chris mentioned, we're going to be going through everything in the auction. Um, and that's the main ask today. Like the committee's done a great job. And actually, we have a few people from the committee Darren, Joe, Javier, Jimmy, the Godfather. So we have, we've done a great job. The team has done a great job organizing this event. And at this point, while we still will gladly accept sponsorships, live auction items, silent auction items, the main thing is we need you to show up the 22nd. Um, so the 16th, which is the week, the Sunday before the live auction, excuse me, the silent auction will open. It's gonna run the entire week. And then that night, the 22nd at 7 p.m., that's when we're having the virtual event. So the way you can help is show up to that event, but also invite people over to your house and have a have a little block party because we're going to try to check in. Um, Mark Holmes is going to be the MC of the event. So if you if you if you were here last week, you remember him saying that he's two and zero in our auction raffles. So that is one item that is open now. It's a shotgun raffle. So let's let's prevent Mark from winning for a third time. Not gonna happen. But thanks again for all the support. This is really is a, it's a team, it's a team event. Um, so many of you guys have helped out by donating an auction item, um, donating a sponsorship. So thank you, we have great momentum. And if we all show up on the 22nd, this could be a record breaking year. And you guys know that uh, the need hasn't changed. If anything, the need is greater. So let's get out there and kill it. Thanks, guys. Excellent. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you to the auction committee. Um, I sung their praises a little bit last week, uh, but having sat in on, on one of their meetings recently, um, they're absolutely killing it um, in terms of, you know, hitting the streets, getting sponsorships, donations, setting it all up. It's going to be a fantastic auction. Um, show up. Get your friends to show up, plan your block parties. Um, we need a good a good turnout and good participation May 22nd. Um, the next Friday, May 28th, will be our Police and Fire Awards. That's as far out in the calendar as my tiny brain can think. Um, so that's, that's the next month for exchange. Um, if I have failed to mention anything from the calendar, let me know. All right, Mark. Oh, Brian. Fourth of July parade. Fourth of July parade is a yes. <laughs> Matt Lundy is has got permits, approvals. We are having a Fourth of July parade. Um, waiting to see kind of what we do in terms of the carnival and all that. The July 4th parade is actually going to be on Saturday, July 3rd. 
<laughs> I mean, I know, I know the pandemic has kind of curtailed church attendance a little bit, but it's still a Sunday. We're not going to have our parade, you know, at 9 a.m. on Sunday morning. <laughs> so, I seem to recall that the club has done this in the past. We're doing it again. If the fourth falls on a Sunday, we parade on Saturday. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> We're also planning on having an Oktoberfest. I don't know if I get to say that, but <laughs> we'll see. Hedging, hedging, hedging. It's in November. <laughs> it's in November this year. Um, <laughs> all right, Mr. Holmes. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Glad to be with you here this morning. Hope you're all doing well. Just wanted to remind you that tomorrow is May 1st. It is election day. I know I'm preaching to the choir as all of y'all took advantage of early voting. But in case some of y'all are planning on voting tomorrow, as in my role as Lake Highlands man on the street, I would urge you to educate yourself on the bond proposals A and B for Richardson ISD. And as you're out uh, in the community and folks are asking you, you know, encourage them to vote uh, in the election. And I would hope that, you know, after reviewing the bond proposals uh, A and B, which A is for facilities, it's about $690 million for the renovation of every campus basically uh, in the system. But especially within Lake Highlands, we're talking about the total reconstruction of Lake Highlands Junior High and substantial renovation of Forest Meadow Junior High. So impact definitely in Lake Highlands from the bonds. And then the B proposal is the technology proposal, which has to be broken out by state law. And that's uh, the remainder of the bond, approximately 60, $70 million. So please educate yourself and I hope you will support proposals A and B for uh, the Lake Highlands uh, kids and uh, the Richardson ISD kids uh, in the, in, as a whole. So thank you for your time this morning. Uh, I'm around for any questions you've got. Yes, Mr. Thread, go. Yes, for those uh, that are online, uh, basically Mr. Thread advised us that elementary schools, high schools, libraries, just about anything attached will be a polling location. So you should be able to uh, easily get to a poll and cast your vote. So appreciate your participation in the system and thanks for your consideration of the matter. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Lake Highlands, man on the street. Mr. Threadgill, the polling locations, it's still the same where you go, you, you give them your precinct number and address, whatever, and they, you can go any, any polling location. Very nice. Hey, tell your friends to get out and vote. Obviously all of y'all early voted, pretty sure. Actually, we, we, we checked the list. <laughs> um, so encourage your friends to get out and vote. All right, Mr. Poteet. And you know, I, I seem to recall an Adam Magoo is a member of this club. And then Mr. Pote, you, since you've mentioned it and you're here this morning, yeah, it, it, it is true. We do have a couple of members that are running for office on the very short ballot for May 1st tomorrow. So <laughs> just remember those among us. <laughs> All right, feisty group this morning. All right, Mr. Bailey, would you like to come up and introduce our program this morning? <laughs> Thank you. Good morning, Lake Highlands. So I stood up here last week and, and told you guys what a, what a pleasure it is um, to bring people in who are doing great things in the community 
uh, and, and introduce those people to the club. Uh, that's not what we're doing this week. Uh, this, 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 this week, this week, we've got, we've got some folks who are doing great things in the community who you all already know, which is also a pleasure. <laughs> Um, for, for those of y'all who are new to the club or new to the neighborhood, uh, Zach Garza founded uh, Forerunner Mentoring, was, was called to found Forerunner Mentoring about 11 years ago. Um, they provide mentoring uh, and a, you know, a suite of after school activities for, for boys in single parent homes. Um, they've done great work and, and, and we're really excited to have Zach in today. Um, this is you know, less of an introduction, more of a, more of a thank you. Um, because Zach is moving on from Lake Highlands, as, as you guys saw in the, the article in The Advocate a month or so ago. Um, Zach is moving down to Waco to, uh, as part of an effort to plant mentoring agencies uh, around the area. So um, wanted to bring Zach in to give us an update as to what's going on with Forerunner. And, and I'm going to let Zach introduce his successor, Stephen Murray. Um, so uh, thank you, Zach and Stephen, for being here. Yeah. All right, guys, hold on. You guys want to make a tall joke? Now's the time. Just wanted you all to know that. Uh, my name is Zach Garza. For those of you guys uh, who I haven't had the pleasure to meet yet, and uh, I am the founder of a Forerunner Mentoring Program here in Lake Highlands, the great city of Lake Highlands. It's not a city, but it is. Um, for uh, just to kind of give you guys just a little bit of background on myself. I'm a former coach and teacher at Lake Highlands Junior High School, so started started doing that in 2007. Um, and I mean, you guys know that Lake Highlands is just a special place. Uh, I don't know any other community like it in the entire city of Dallas. Um, I don't know of a place where you can have kids who come from you know, two parent homes, maybe both of their parents are college educated, they're professionals, um, they're providing everything that a parent could want for their child, sitting next to a kid who, um, in some cases, couldn't have a worse, uh, couldn't have a worst case scenario. And that's what's so special <clears throat> is, you know, we don't got to go down to South Dallas. We don't got to go down to West Dallas. We can go to right across the street and we can um, serve our neighbors and we can do everything that we can to make their life just a little bit better. And that's what I love about the Exchange Club is you guys are doing that. Um, so allow me to say thank you for all your investment, everything that you guys do from the auction to the 3rd of July parade um, to <laughs> Oktoberfest. Uh, I mean, you guys do more for this little area than most people understand. So thank you for us. You, you guys have, uh, given us almost everything that we've asked for, maybe everything that we've asked for. Um, and over the last five, six years, you guys have supported us tremendously. So, I mean, we've got computers because of you guys, we're about to build a basketball court. We've got desks. I have a desk because of y'all. Thank y'all. Um, just like. There's, there isn't any way that we could do what, what we do in Lake Highlands without you guys. So thank you. Um, this truly is like a community nonprofit. Like this isn't about me. I'm just a guy who's tall, has awesome hair and a big nose, but <laughs> like you guys are what makes this this. Uh, I don't mentor a kid. I have three kids in my home and my kid graduated. It's people like you who are out there making our kids better in investing into our families. Um, so thanks. Um, update on our organization. <clears throat> I'm out. See you guys later. <laughs> um, no. So I, uh, so I just to kind of keep this short as you get older, you know, I'm, I'm getting older, I'm wise, 38 years old, got, it, got most of it figured out, you know. Um, you start to figure out some things about yourself and I figured out a couple of things in the last 10 years 
One of those things being, I love to start things. Um, I am like a entrepreneur, except I don't make a lot of money, um, which I guess I'm a normal entrepreneur. Uh, but um, I really love to like start things. I really love to build things. When it comes to making things excellent, um, I have learned that I'm not the most attention, like I don't pay the most attention to these things called details. Um, and uh, like, that's why we've developed a team here at Forerunner. Um, Stephen Murray's been, he's been a mentor for what, five, four years, five, six years. I've got to get my dates right. Uh, six years, he has been a mentor. He started with a kid who was at Forest Meadow whenever he was in seventh grade, seventh grade. Um, and his, uh, his kids, Amari Edwards, he was, he got the character award a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago. He's a stud. I mean, just an awesome dude. Um, and Steven has been with him ever since he was uh, 13. He's invested into his mom, you know, whenever Zamari's acting a fool at home, like most 17, you know, year old boys do, his mom calls Steven. And uh, I just think that that's awesome. Um, Steven's worked for us. We've been paying him for the last two years off and on. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and man, like whenever he got on board, like he is good at the things that I'm not good at. And we went from here to here. And then we added a couple more people um, to our team the last uh, couple years. And they're just filling in all of, all of our gaps. I can honestly sit here today and say that we haven't ever been stronger. Um, and honestly, I've kind of worked myself out of a job. And so, and so uh, that's an awesome spot to be in. Uh, our future plans, I'm gonna let Steven talk about that. But why I'm leaving is because one, I believe that Steven and his crew, not only are we going to continue to do good work in Lake Highlands, but we're gonna grow. And I believe that you know, in the next upcoming years, in the next upcoming seasons, we are only going to get uh, more, more better. It's a terrible way to say it, but here I am. I used to teach English. <laughs> Vote for the bonds, RSD teachers. <laughs> RSD teachers need you. We need training, I swear. Um, but uh, yeah, but um, what did I say? Uh, yeah. Like they are just going to make this thing better. I keep on trying to start new things and they're like, Hey, let's just get better at what we do. And I'm like trying to start like that. Hey, let's start a tennis league for our kids. And they're no, just mentor. Um, so that's one, like, and two, I have enormous faith in Steven. He's an awesome. Um, he's an awesome man of God. He's a man of character. He loves our kids. He, he, um, he's smart, smarter than me. Um, and he just has a passion for our kiddos. Um, I want this thing to last. I want what we do in Lake Islands to last more, uh, to last a lot longer than I do. And this is the only way to do it. Uh, but third thing, and this might sound weird, but, uh, I believe that there's communities all across the nation that have at-risk kids that have kids who, um, they might not have anyone, in, not one person in their life who gives a rip about them. You know, they, they got their mom, but their mom's working her tail off just to provide, you know, dad might not be there. They might not have an uncle. They might not have a coach. They might not have a teacher. They might not have a mentor. And um, I believe uh, the change that needs to happen in our nation starts at home. And if a kid grows up in a home where there isn't a father figure present, then who the heck's going to teach that boy how to become a man? And who's going to teach him how to shake a hand? And who's going to teach him how to take feedback well? And who's going to teach him how to make eye contact? And who's going to teach him how to get back up whenever you fall down? It's things that you teach your kids every single day that we don't even know that we're teaching our kids, right? And these kids, man, they, they're special. Like, these kids aren't dumb. These kids have so much potential. The sky's the limit. They just need someone like you uh, to invest into them and just say, hey, look, dude, you can do it. I believe in you. 
I have faith. If there's an area in your life that you don't have faith, you can take some of mine because I have enough faith for the both of us because I believe in you. And I'm going down to Waco and I'm going to start that thing because uh, there's kids in Waco who are just like the kids here. And then if that works, when that works, Lord, then I'm going to go and start it in a new city. And uh, Stephen and I started a podcast two years ago. It's called You Can Mentor because we believe that um, mentoring is the answer. I have a book out called You Can Mentor. If you want to mentor, you can mentor. Um, come and talk to me and I will give you a free copy of my book for $15. Uh, you just, you just let me know. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I can sign it. Yeah, I can sign it. But that's enough about me. I'm out May 28th. I passed the baton to Steven about a month ago. It turns out whenever you stop being the boss, uh, you like, you're not needed. So, so I am irrelevant as of, as of about a month ago. I'm not doing anything. So if you want to have coffee or take me to go play golf, I'm, I don't have anything to do. Um, but that's it. That's all I got. Murdoch, get up here. This is, uh, this is Stephen Murray. Um, and I'll let him talk about himself, but uh, he's awesome. So, uh... <laughs> so have fun. Uh, that's awesome. Thanks for having us. And Zach says he has no attention to detail and yet consistently critiques my socks matching my pants. So um, not sure if that's true. Um, excited to share just kind of where we're headed. Um, Zach went to ACU. We're moving locations to Highland Oaks Church of Christ. I don't know if he's getting a kickback for that. Um, but yeah, I actually found out the history of that church. This guy named General Gano, his grandfather baptized George Washington in the Potomac River because George Washington didn't think his bap he annulled his baptism because it was under King George. It was like the craziest story I've ever heard. So that's kind of a fun little little snippet for you. The, the church we're moving to, his grandfather baptized George Washington. And we're doing some baptisms coming up. We have 15 boys being baptized here in the next 10 or on May 19th. And so it's really fun seeing our coaches and staff and mentors investing and sharing the gospel, living it out, modeling their faith. And these boys are saying, I'm all in. And so we're, we're really excited about um, those boys making that decision. A lot of them are headed to camp. So mo most people think camp is about, you know, sharing the gospel and getting them into a relationship with Jesus. They're headed to camp with that. So we hope camp is just a refresher and keeps them engaged that, that um, really, really helps them grow in their faith as they connect with those crazy Sky Ranch counselors and who, who else they get to connect with. Um, we're excited about building school partnerships, uh, more school partnerships. We've been praying about Merriman Park for a while now, and I think we're going to pull the trigger this next fall. Our hope is to serve 135 kids in the fall, so you guys can hold me accountable to that. So next fall, one of you needs to ask me, uh, Brent, I'm going to join the Exchange Club. You can help me commit to that, but then also 135 kids, so I want you guys to have that in your in your head when you think about Forerunner. Um, I, I have been mentoring Zamari, um, and it has been incredible seeing not just how mentoring affects his accomplishments, but just affects the man that he's becoming. And, and something that I've been thinking about is that the, the greatest thing about mentoring is accompaniment in the journey, not just accomplishment and achievement for these boys. There's so much that happens within friendship and being together that, that, that it's the root, not the fruit. And, and I think mentors can get frustrated when you think about trying to achieve something, but really just walking with a kid, loving them, meeting relational needs, and, and just showing up is huge. And so, like, like Zach said, this, this is a Lake Highlands endeavor. Forerunner is Lake Highlands. It, it doesn't exist without the community. And so we, our vision is to see every boy in Lake Highlands growing up without a father figure at home to be mentored. 
to be in an after school program, to have access to uh, a positive adult. And so would love to, to pitch that to you guys and ask you to consider becoming a mentor. Um, all we ask is that you show up, you build up with encouragement and you love God. And that's, that's, that's it, it's pretty easy. So you don't have to read Zach's book. You should read Zach's book. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. Uh, um, talks about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah um covid has been interesting but more more than anything it's actually given us more access to mom than than not because now we have to involve her we have to go to her apartment we have to connect um and and it's been it's been a beautiful thing and now i will say something about zamari his uh, one of his best friends was shot and killed uh, a few months ago and um, moving forward, every time I see those stories, I see them in a different light. I see boys who are growing up without dads who don't have a mentor. And so when, when I just want you to think about that, when you see any story of an 18 year old, a 19 year old who is headed down a, a dark path, um, usually those guys don't have someone in their life investing in them. And that was, that was true for Zamari's best friend. And so that's my hope is that every one of Zamari's friends would have a mentor um, as they're in high school and junior high. Um, and that, that would change the trajectory. Forerunner, the reason we call it Forerunner is that to break generational curses, somebody has to go first. And so our, our hope is that our boys are forerunners for their future family. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about the future and really appreciate Zach mentoring me. I think it is a fulfillment of the vision of Forerunner that he's mentored me and raised up the next generation to take Forerunner to into this next season. So thank you, Zach. Yep. Stand, stand behind me. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Hey, and, and just so you guys know, this, like, you know, this wasn't like I woke up one day and I was like, you know what? I'm going to move to Waco. <laughs> this place is awesome. Um, I've been bringing Steven along to our board meetings for over a year now. Um, my board has known that like, I want to, I, I want to build stuff. And um, for three years now, I've been like begging them, like, please hire a COO. And they're like, no. And I'm like, ah, so, um, so like this has been in the works for a long time. We just haven't told anyone. Um, and Steven kind of underplayed it. Like, we're not, we're not kidding around. Like we want every kid in Lake Collins to have a mentor. Hmm. And uh, as we've been doing this now for, uh, we've been doing it for 11 years. I think that's what someone said. I, I should probably figure that out. I've been doing it full time for six. Um, and like, we've been, you know, we've been seeing some fruit, but like over the last year and a half, Steve and I have just been like, dude, this works. Like this, this, this thing works. Like if you just show up, if you just love a kid where he's at, if you just don't try to fix him, you'd be amazed. <clears throat> and we, in the next year, we're hoping to start a second after school program uh, in the Forest Meadow side. Uh, right now we have an after school program that feeds every elementary school that feeds into Lake Highlands Junior High School. Next year in 14 months, we're starting a second after school program. And that's gonna give us access to every single school and we're going to pull every single young man that needs our services mm -hmm. there. And then if we can be at maximum capacity at the Lake Highlands Junior High site, Lake Highland, uh, max capacity at the Forest Meadows site, we have a junior high program for Lake Highlands Junior High School. We have a Lake Highlands High School program that has like 35 kids every week that's coming. Um, like we we want every kid in Lake Highlands to have access. Mm -hmm. um, and then if we can do all that, then, I mean, we're talking about building a community center. We're talking about going big uh, because this community deserves it. These kids deserve it. And I know that um, this community will give us everything that we need. So uh, super thankful. Is there anything else? Um, talking about COVID, COVID sucks. Um, but it is what it is. And we're still finding ways to serve. We're still finding ways to build relationships and the call to action, become a mentor. If you guys want to give per month, this is my ask. Give us $20 a month. 
that is my, that's one meal at Jake's. Okay, Jake's is real expensive these days, but that's one meal. Give us 10 bucks a month. That's all that we ask, okay? Um, you can go to our website for runnermentoring.com. That will help us grow. You don't have to give 20, you can give 100. You can give 200, 8 million a month. I don't care. Um, but that's what we got. Once again, super thankful. He talked about camps. Y'all made that happen. Thanks for giving us camp money. I'm out. We're good. Thanks, man. Zach, Stephen, thank y'all very much. Uh, Mr. Boyd has a quick presentation to make, and then we'll wrap and head out of here. Howdy. So part of my job as a community service guy is grants, and we're going to be doing a full grant presentation uh, this summer with who all is getting our, our grants. But one of the grant requests that came in was from Forerunner, and the board deliberated long into the night, Mr. Brown, and but did decide that, you know, Forerunner is a good organization and their grant request checked all of our boxes that we'd like to see in our grants. It's serving at need kids. It is a physical asset rather than um, operating expenses. It's something that we can partner with with volunteer time too. So um, we had it ready was about to notify Zach when I got a phone call from Zach saying that Zach was leaving. <laughs> so it was like, okay. So I almost rescinded the grant right there on the spot, but Zach assured me that Steven knows what he's doing. But, uh, you know, it's my pleasure to award you guys this grant right now. Uh, I'm, I'm going to miss Zach. He's one of the few people in this community that I get to look up to and now he's leaving. Um, uh, Mr. Elkier is here today. So I said one of the few, <laughs> but uh guys if y'all would like to come up please we are oh i should say what it is so um <laughs> forerunner is moving to a new building and one of the needs that they have you know when you drive around this community one of the love languages that's out there is basketball mm -hmm. and um highland oaks has lots of stuff but it does not have a good basketball court so we are awarding forerunner three thousand dollars to to uh, go in and put in a good basketball court that they can utilize for the next 10, 15 years. So Come guys, on. thanks, man. Our big check turned oh, the yes. right way. Yes. There's uh, Mr. Brown. So, so Chris said he wanted to be in the picture until he saw how tall Stephen was. He tricked down a bit. Boyd was supposed to bring a milk crate for me to stand on. Thank oh, you all so much. All right. Thank you guys again, Zach. Thank you for your service to the community, the kids in our community. Stephen, we look forward to, to seeing that um, good work continue and, and more um, great outcomes for these kids. So thank you all very much. Thanks for being here this morning and sharing with us. I did forget in my printed paper, which I don't have with me in big red letters, it says guests at the top. I'm supposed to ask if there are any guests. I see someone that I don't recognize. Um, Mr. Mason, you got an introduction? Yeah, absolutely. This is Brad Perry. Um, Brad has submitted a membership application for the Elder Brad could like to stand up and introduce himself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. All right, thanks for being here this morning. All right, any other final parting words, announcements? We're over our time. Please go vote tomorrow, May 1st. Go check out the calendar on the newsletter. Lots of things coming up. A lot of exciting, fun times as the school year comes to a close. With that, we are adjourned. <laughs>